have to experience it. You know, mm -hmm. I can't warn you about it to prepare you only when you're in it because there's so many emotions attached to it. Will you will you get it and will you get through it? So, no. And, and I think what we want to do is so unique. Let's say I wanted to be in sales. I wouldn't be panicking right now. Right. I have a sales job. I'd be set up. I could do this. It's it's a lot of it is we want to do something very unique. Yeah. That. Yeah. Takes experience to get hired for, and but until someone hires you, it's right. a catch-22. Yeah. Our lives are a catch-22. <laughs> Our lives are a huge catch-22. That is. And just round and round we go. Probably the most disappointing thing I've ever heard. Um, and I, you're probably right. So, okay. All right. Have you? Okay. This this is an interesting question. Okay. Have you ever lied in order to get a job interview or? On the job interview itself, have you ever said, oh, yeah, I speak fluent Russian? No. I would like, never. Look at the Manhattan coach. Yeah. That well, lied yeah, and missed out on Nazielle. millions of dollars yeah. because he lied on his resume. No, okay. that is something I will never do. If they tell me I lack experience, well, I'm not going to lie about the experience. Instead, I'll go back and say what I lack in experience, I'll make up for. Right. I'm, qu I'm just a quick learner. Yeah, I just sent an email. And, but and I, I, So, okay, that that's my next question is, do you think that there is a place in, like, when you're starting out for a little, not cockiness, but like a little straightforwardness? Well, and just saying, listen, I'm probably not the most qualified. I probably don't have the best grades or the best, you know, or the most accolades, but I am good at what I do and I will be good for this company. Yes, but the, the problem with saying that and the hesitance, like I just expressed to you about saying that, is. Our generation also, in addition to not being able to get jobs, has a bad reputation of being very entitled. Yep. So that can come off as an air of entitlement that, of course, you don't want to convey to a future employer. But again, if you're saying I lack experience, I've got to be confident in something. I've got to be confident in my skills or my hard work or my work ethic. So you can't win. Again, you yeah. can't win. You're damned <laughs> if you do and you're damned if you don't. And I'm really sad that I'm this jaded about something that should be so exciting. Yeah, I mean, I And so yeah. optimistic and I'm I'm not. Now, I don't want to compare it. Okay. So it, if I'm annoying you in any capacity, tell me to shut up. Okay. Okay? But when you You can are, have an opinion about just no, because I know. you're not I'm graduating, well, your I, opinion is valid. But I'm going to compare it to when I was a junior in high school or senior or Sophomore in high school, my parents said, okay, you need to get a job because we can't, like, pay for your car insurance and your phone bill and your, your baloney anymore. Yeah. You need to pay for it. Yeah. And I said, okay, uh, so I need to get a job now, I guess. And so as a, well, how old are you, 14, 15-year-old, you're yeah. like, like, what? What am I even supposed to do? I, I just you just normally, start looking at your surroundings. Oh, maybe right, there. Normally, maybe I there. ask for money to go see a movie once a once in a blue moon. Yeah. and that's about it. You so should have worked what, at the movie theater. Yeah, like what? what no, I didn't. You I actually, should have. I knew somebody who you should did, have been a ticket really taker. They did not like it. They really. Yeah, but didn't. you love to see movies. I do, I do, but I was soured on it. I, I, okay. In fact, my, my ex girlfriend worked at the movies. And okay. Well, she understandable. Conveyed her hatred towards it a lot. She hated a lot of things. Really, just an unpleasant person. <laughs> anyway, um, so. <laughs> I was like, okay, fast food. That's where you start, right? You start at a fast food restaurant. Sure. And you work you, there for a yeah, while. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't. So <laughs> I worked at McDonald's for as long as I did. You did not. I did too. You knew that. I, I did was... not know that. Hand to God. Really? Didn't know you worked I at McDonald's. I worked at McDonald's for two or three years, somewhere in that range, and it was awful. But Oh, next segment. When we're coming back, we're, like you're you going to give a tell-all. you what you got to do. So Absolutely. my question to you, and then we were talking about this before, is if you want something, so if you want to stay, you will do... What you have to do in yes. order to do it. Yeah. So even if that means, and I'm, I'm not suggesting that you work at a McDonald's for two and a half years, but mm -hmm. if you, even if you have to work at a McDonald's while you gather experience with, you know, local freelance stations or freelance writing or something like that, right. you would do it. And yeah. I'm confident that you would. And that's, that's what I'm trying to figure out, the logistics. Because, yeah, I, I could tell you right now, yes, I'll do that, but... That also requires a lot of moving parts. I mean, there's seven days in a week. So if you've got to work two jobs mm -hmm. to support yourself, when are you bettering yourself for your career to get to a point where you're finally working in that field? When? I couldn't tell you. Because eventually I just quit McDonald's. Right. That's why a <laughs> lot of people go home so they don't have those right. bills. They continue to better themselves for the career. Home for you is in a different place. It's yeah. far away. But that doesn't mean home for me doesn't have news stations, doesn't have radio stations right. where I can get that experience. But home for me 
isn't New York City. New York City. Right. Or anywhere near New York City. New York City is hard to compete with. It is. And I've, you know, had people tell yeah. me too, uh, your resume saying that you worked in the metropolitan area has much more weight to it than you worked anywhere right. else. Right. Well. It's a, it's a big thing to wrestle with. It is. And I, I feel like a broken record and I talk about it with so many people, but it's, you want to get every perspective possible. Mm-hmm. You're drowning me out with music. No, no. Please I'm not play something that speaks to my on. soul. I am going to. No, but we are going to go and come back, and yeah. I want to tell all of McDonald's and their practices and how the food is prepared. Excuse and me. Everything. You're giving a tell all. You can change your name. Okay. I'm 100%. I'm in. Thank you, everyone or anyone who listened to this rant. And if it helped anyone. Mm. We recorded at the good part. In so La Penta. the beginning where you were If it helps on. anyone, you know, then it's. It's worth it. Good. Yapping like that. So we just this yapped away. This was a good yappy beginning. This was. Try right. to play a liner, no? You want to try? Oh, gosh. Okay, I can try it. It doesn't work. Okay. I'm telling you. Mike, I if you're listening, broken. how do you do liners? And He'll we're out. call soon. Yep. I'm sure. Okay, we'll be right back on the happy hour uh, with Allie and Ken.